boom so hi guys welcome to my channel yes you are right bd performance does have a channel but this is going to be my own so um different to my channel v will be i will be giving you a little bit more maybe in-depth stuff on how to and stuff like that bd also does a lot of uh, uh how to's but i'll be doing other stuff behind the scenes maybe sort of, sort of stuff so um gonna run you through my car about me and whatever um plans i've got plans come and go Just general shit really so this is my channel alan young st225 also mr george mr gcm he's also done a lot of stuff with me as well he likes my car my vehicle uh bd performance and down has done quite a, a quite a few reviews as they might say on my channel um so i'm gonna take you through on the car about me about work whatever you know if i get around to it i'll let you know so let's start about my car let's go so take you through the engine it is a wasner oversized forge build stage one cams got the as plenum as well got a crossover we've got some strut brace pro alloy head of tank hoses our synth cooler, uh, BD performance oil breather kit. Uh, got the k and filter. You know it's um, Mark Three RS or Mark Three battery box because it's split and it's a little bit easier. We have the strut brace. It's a good top tip for everyone. If you've got a strut brace, get the Mark Three because it's split in two got bonnet vents we've got lights um, custom made grill as well BDP gel badges uh, we've also got the K-Sport brakes as well mud flaps you can't really see it but it is also a little bit of a wrap on it or whatever. Um, painted with calipers, mud flaps, wheels. I normally run the RS alloys out there for the summer. They are a bitch to clean. <clears throat> Got on the rear end, maximized splitter. Uh, Power flow exhaust system, uh, RS parts rear diffuser. Um, it is, it is there somewhere, but it does actually say there. GCM approved. Yeah, it's fully poly bushed, lightly underestimated. You know, it's. Um, Inside we've got the Mark 3 RS steering wheel, which I believe is a first. Someone's bound to say no it's not, but as far as I'm concerned, all the research that I did, it is the first. We've got Mark 3 RS blue interior. Um this one this one was a definite a must for me. A lot of people aren't fond of them, but for me, yeah. Mark 3RS steering wheel and centre console with a working button as well. Yeah. So, right. Right, let's go for a drive.
to give you maybe a little bit of some background information maybe about me, about my vehicle. Um, got the car now for six years. Give or take, year or take or whatever. Um, owned the car, got it completely stuck. And I think the second day I had it, I ripped the airbox out. That, that was going in the bin. Uh, everyone was quite uh, kind enough to give me his old induction kit that he had. Put that on. Um, and then that was a day that I met Darren because we me and Darren went up to get a an RSCC holder. Cattle grid. So got that, met Darren, got also got a a diesel slam panel off him. Um, the car didn't have one back then. So yeah, I met Darren. Sort of let me on know what maybe what sort of route I was going for, what power I was going for, which at the time was basically full stage two, which I did. Um, after that, the next time I met Darren, um, I was on a couple of overheating problems, should we say. tests on it then, or maybe the head gasket was going, um, so he suggested that I just get it in, probably going to be a warped head, even quite possibly a cracked liner, and I was, uh, didn't really know what a cracked liner was back then, so yeah, I was lucky enough that it was just a warped head, a very warped head at the time shims in it, all was good. So it went, so after that, um, I did the clutch, I mean my mate did the clutch, um, did down pipes and decat at the same time. Went full stage to Dream Science, Dream Science map, fucking lovely, these handheld things are, yeah, definitely worth it. They're, they're really good, you know, you can go also add on maps as well which is really good you know 100 pound for an extra map so we're at full stage two i had on the rollers uh, at uh, the eco tech in buckley and it only pulled 289 power figures don't really bother me it's just how they drive you know if you go up against a much powerful car and you've had it, you know you've got some power. So power figures don't they don't really bother me. I know it's quick, other people know it's quick. People I've just left in M3 know it's quick. So but after a while, I don't know. Felt like it was lagging. Something wasn't right with the, with the car. There was something no idea what it was, it was just like a switch one day. It's captured. And um don't know what it was. So I thought I'll do a compression test on it. Lo and behold, cylinder number two was down massively. And I was like, oh my god, what is this? So I went up, had a chat with Darren. And he was like, your rings might be gone, it could be over. So, I left it, I thought about it, I did another compression test, and it's fine, but there was still something not right about it. And one day, me and Aaron were going somewhere, both in each cars, and me and Aaron are pretty much, we've been, you buy something, I buy something, you buy something, and we were, we were pretty much, everything was the same with our cars, everything. And one day, we were having a bit of a dabble, and he just, he buggered off. He literally buggered off. And I was like, even he said, he was like, something not right with that, Al? No, definitely not. So back to Darren, we had another chat, and he said, it's probably gonna be old Calgary. He said, something's definitely not right there. Let's, he was like, 
like there's no point putting rings in a, a you know round ring because they're an oval ball that's just a waste of money people right so I decided to forge it and go oversized best idea ever by far best idea so plan to forge it did a bit of saving lot of overtime and um, he, he, had, he, had a, he had a bit of a group deal on it at the time for, for some for some Newman cams and I was like yeah sign me up Scotty so booked in forged oversized Newman cams happy days so uh, pulled into the new unit uh, welcome. Holly was there, the girl used to work at BD at one point. Uh, she was taking an engine out of a car, give her a hand. Darren comes along and says, uh, I think you should buy that RS Turbo. And I was like, what? He goes, yeah, you should buy that RS Turbo. I bought it. That took a lot of persuasion. Um, so that turbo was off. That's mine. Forge build cams. Iris turbo. Happy days. Um, did a bit more saving. Got new intake injectors and everything that I needed eventually to make it run. So did the forge build. Did the running in. Um, got everything together. Give into cooler, uh, and then out the blue one day when I was off, thought I'd uh, <coughs> thought I'd stuff it, get on the rollers. So got on the rollers, and it made four hundred five. I was absolutely chuffed to hell. No way in hell I thought it was going to do that, and it did. I was chuffed to hell. It, it, it was bang on what the macro said it should have been, and I was happy. And then uh, uh, one day when I was up there at Christmas, before I started working there, um, a lad was going from stage three hybrid to a big turbo setup, Harry. Um, so I decided to buy his hybrid off him. I was like, yeah, I'm having that. So I had the hybrid, and then uh, Aaron had my old turbo, which is now on his car on the uh, high mileage hero. Yeah, so stage three hybrid, you know, big injectors, you know, big fuel pump. It's just the most useful power ever. I mean, you know, it does spin up in gears. It does, you know, it's it's you know it's quick. But in the day, I'm not bothered what power it is. I know it's quick. Everybody that drives it knows it's quick. I mean, Mr. Mikey Rowland has just uh, recently driven it. He wanted he wanted to go stage for highway in his car, and he was like, "What's it like?" I was like. Have a go, mate. Have a go, and you will not be disappointed. And he wasn't. He was like, "Yeah, that is definitely the way to go." <clears throat> um, Josh has recently had a go because he wants to go for big power, and he was like, "No, that is just the way to go. That is enough power. It's, it's more usable than anything else." You know, what's the point of having power if you just can't use it? Literally pointless. So plans for the future. Um, I have a port and polished head, literally ready to go on. It's been, it's been, it's been ready for about six months. It's been unbelievable. <clears throat> so that's ready to go on. Um, what we would like to do with 
the with the like success that Nick's had with his, he went from uh, just a port and polished head to a big valve head. You know, bear in mind he, he, you know, he is a big power leg. Um, and he gained like 50 horsepower or 60 horsepower just from doing big valves, which is absolutely mental. Is what we want to do is is what we would like to do, if possible, if possible. Is we would like to see the difference between a normal head and the port and polished head on this sort of power range. So anything you know, 450 to 500 brake horsepower. What gains do you actually do? It's just been tricky, obviously because of freaking COVID shit. Is we would like to do a before and after. So um, get the car in on the rollers, say on a Friday morning, do quite a few power runs at, at different boost levels or whatever, and just see what sort of gains you actually do get from a port and polished head, if any. So that's a plan somewhere. Obviously, you know, customers do come first. So we're trying to do this. I mean, we've got we've got a guy at the minute who's um, who we've been using um, for dynos, for the hub dyno. So get it in on the Friday morning and you know do some power runs. Get it back to BD, take the head off, put it back on, and then go back Monday morning and do more. You know, so it's we want to try and keep it as, as fair of a test as possible because there's no point in me putting a head on, you know, doing a power run, and then going back three or four weeks later with a port polished head on. Well, could be different temp. I know it's going to be different temp days but you know it's you know within a few days it'll be perfect you know it's about to plan in the future um i need to put my helix clutch back in um, after the repair on that and just just enjoy the car because i use it every day near enough this is my only car now you know and i'm on 142,578 miles and I bought the car about 72 I think it was 72,000 you know I use it you know and I've done uh, I think I worked out yesterday about about 29 and a half thousand mile on this forward engine Keep an eye out for my channel, guys. If you're, if you're Mark II or anything like that, I've got some exciting things to come. Some really good videos. Um, I've, I've all, I've got me doing my lightly under under body restoration. Um, did that on a weekend. Um, everything, the preparation in that was immense, shocking. Um, six months in the works to try and get parts together um, I'm going to do a video soon on how to do the RS steering wheel conversion I've had quite a few queries about this so I'm going to do a video because it's just going to be easier um, I've also got a video coming of how to do a Mark Free RS Brembo conversion on your Mark II because a lot of people think that they don't fit, but they do. Yeah. 
Somebody out. Someone, someone's going out. Mm -hmm. um, I've also got a video coming soon of doing a fully port and polished head from start to finish. What's involved in that? I'm getting wet. <laughs> That's coming soon. Yeah, that is. Just keep an eye out, guys. Just please. Just subscribe. It's easy. It's good. Click it. Click. Cracking, right? So, guys, keep an eye out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>